A woman's been injured after a wild crash in Baldwin Park. Police say that she took out a power pole then smashed into a brick wall. That sent debris flying, damaging a nearby home. And now that neighborhood is calling for some action as police investigate this accident as a possible alcohol-related incident. Meantime, people living on that street say street racing is becoming a huge problem there. KJL5 Sarah Walsh joins us live in Baldwin Park where she spoke with some of the concerned community. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Courtney. Yeah, the neighbors are concerned. They say street racing is a problem. Speeding here a problem. Look behind me. You can see they're still working to fix the power lines here hours after this accident. Now, uh, police here say that it appears that speed and alcohol are a factor in this crash. And the neighbors say they're pleading tonight with city leaders to do something about the crashes that keep happening. That pole flew across the street. The smash pole, just part of the aftermath. It was extensive. It looked like a bomb went off. There was so much stuff scattered through the neighborhood. A brick shattered a window. Another flew through a front door when the driver of a Dodge Charger lost control and struck this pole, then a wall along Fraser Street in Baldwin Park around 4 a.m. Sunday morning. He was on the, bus. the early morning crash woke Richard Duncan. He ran outside and called 911. To inform them that there were power lines down car was on fire to send somebody right away. The two people inside the car walked away with only minor injuries. The neighbors tell us this street has become a racetrack. And the lady that lost her front wall, she just replaced it from the last accident that was happened. It becomes a danger just pulling out of your driveway. Duncan, who's lived here for more than a decade, is fed up with speeding and street racing along Fraser. They think it's a race course. It's a, it's a curve. It's a challenge. It's reckless driving, plus it's uh, people driving under the influence. And there's at least one accident, if not two accidents, a year on the street. And Duncan isn't the only neighbor urging city leaders to rethink the traffic lights. But maybe set up after a certain many hours to set up a timer so it's a flashing red for all four directions. If it wasn't green, then you wouldn't you wouldn't see that accelerating speed going through here and it's a blind spot and then on foster there is an advisory sign that i believe it says it's 15 miles an hour but no one adheres to that if nothing is done duncan is concerned this kind of recklessness could one day have deadly consequences i've told officers before that there's even speed demons that drive through the neighborhood when the kids are getting out of school and one of these times, someone's going to lose control and take a life. I think that'll probably be the only way something will be done. And this afternoon, we have also personally witnessed people speeding through this neighborhood. If you have any information about this crash and can help with it, you're asked to contact the local police.